welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Italian Channel Show. And speaking of episodes, mm. we are going to review the app called Episode. episode. And this is going to be an adventure for us because you get to pick different choices and the different stories. It's a little confusing to explain, but once we start playing, you guys will understand. We're going to have a camera right here to record us because it will be co confusing to edit um, screen recordings because then I'll be going back and forth between me and Tay Tay. I just thought it would be easier if I set up a camera. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so we are going to play the story called Witch Witches. Witches HD. It's an HD, it says that. And this is the description. What's better than being 16 and unsupervised in Manhattan? Being a witch too. So we are going to play this. We have not played this before, so we are going to be adventurous and take risks. Design Fiona's look. Oh, we're going to design. Okay. What skin color? Um, that looks good. Um, your eyes. This isn't loading yet. <laughs> I'm going to wait until Tay Tay's loads. Okay, this is perfect. Here we go. It's like a town. There's an old saying. When you grow up in New York City, you're 50 by age 15. I would say I'm old for my age, but definitely not 50. I have lived on my own since Grandpa died and Dad moved to... Monaco with his <laughs> girlfriend, <laughs> but I'm still a typical 15 year old in some ways. Like right now, for example, it's the first day of 10th grade. Oh, I'm going into 10th grade, and I can't figure out what to wear. Should I dress? Ooh, okay. Um, let's try to see what the casual is. Oh, that's cute. Look at Peppy. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Lexi would wear that outfit. Yeah. Um, I just want to see what the other ones look like. We see Peppy. Um, Rebel. I'm going to see what Rebel. Oh, flannel. I like her flannel. Oh. I'm going to go with casual. Doing casual. I'm doing this. This is perfect. Okay, new school, new start. Hello? I should get a call. Hey, Fiona, it's Dad. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Are you excited for your first day at Vander Trump Academy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what to expect. I feel... That's great, kiddo. You know, I spent some of the best way videos of my life there. You should start spending more time uptown anyhow. Now that you're, now that you're older, it's time to spend more time with people of your people, people of my what? <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Our family has expectations to uphold. Vander Trump is the most exclu exclusive <laughs> prep school in New York City. <laughs> I can't have you ruin it. It says running, but whatever. Ruin it around Soho with your little friends. It sends the wrong message. Well, luckily for you, I don't have that many friends. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Not for long. I promise that you'll fit right in at Vander Trump. Okay, Dad. Well, I should go. I have, the, I have to catch the subway. For Vander Trump. <laughs> <laughs> subway? Fiona, sometimes I don't know... Where you get these ideas. You don't take the subway to Vantage Trump, dear. I've hired you. I drive him for the year. He should be out front. 
Uh, oh, uh, mm. okay, thanks, Dad. <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. I have to hang up because I'm actually in the meeting right now. But, but you're outside. Okay, whatever. But I wanted to check in. Okay, Dad, I miss you a lot. Let's touch base next week. Love you. Talk to you later, kiddo. Ooh, that's a nice town. Yeah. Guess it is New York. Vanda Trump Academy, Upper East Side, Manhattan. Man, this is going to be some experience. This looks like a very fancy place. Wow, this place is fancy. What did I just say? <laughs> Excuse me? Do you know where room 5F is? Are you going to clean it before class starts? Excuse me? You're the new janitor, right? No. Well, you could have fooled us. <laughs> what the crap? So mean. Hmm. Say something rude. Walk away. What are you going to do, Ted? Say something. Actually, I just... I'm going to walk away. And I couldn't clean the classroom anyways. <laughs> because you used up all the heavy duty bleach in, on, on your hair. How dare you! My hair was styled and dyed by Maurice. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> hey, are you new here? I'm Adriana. I'm Alex. Fiona. FYI, those girls over there, Claire, Kate, and Anasaya, are totally... Oh, that's a bad word. <laughs> yeah, I just got to experience their... Oh, okay. And <laughs> we try to avoid them at all costs, but it's kind of hard. This is such a small school, after all. Wait, her name is Claire Kate? Yeah, the rumor is that she was supposed to be twins Claire... And Kate. But she ate her twin in the womb, so her parents what? named her Claire Kate. <laughs> Yikes. You're looking for 5F, right? Yep. yep. Where is Mrs. Barrington's class, too? It's right here. Thanks. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed uh, how to protect productive summer. Come up and introduce yourself, Fiona. Oh, great. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I went to uh, Soho Community School until this year, and I like to skateboard. Soho Community School? Isn't that a public school? I guess Vander Trump is letting anyone in these days. This school is really going downhill, if you ask me. Claire Kate, this is 10th grade. If you have a comment, you must raise your hand. Hey, hey Fiona! <laughs> hey, Adriana. What are you doing after school? I'm um, going home. And where's home? I live in Soho. You live in Soho? Ugh. Why are you so cool? Alex has an Upper East Side in Peru, or whatever. Uh, never heard of that before. How about instead of going home, you could shopping with us? We have a tradition of going shopping downtown on the first day of school. Hmm. Go shopping with Alex and Adriana. Go home. I won't go shopping. But there's diamonds. What the crap? What is this? Okay, well, I guess we have to go home. Thanks for the offer, you guys, but I'm just going to head home. Can you come over? Alex, pick up your manners. They're on the floor. Shut up, Adriana. It's called being outgoing. I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> oh. Shut down, Adriana. <laughs> Adriana thinks I have boundary issues. But my therapist thinks I have a fun personality.
we're going downtown. And you have to read a lot for these. So I wouldn't suggest getting it if you don't know how to read. Yeah, because it's basically like reading a book, but interacting yeah. with the book. It's like taking forever. <laughs> Alex, huh? You sh you're scaring off our new friend. Oh, I already left school. Uh, <laughs> uh can't you? I have love. Whoa, well, Alex, this is your house. It's incredible. Yeah, it's been in my family for almost 150 years. This place is so beautiful. Are your parents home? No. Working? Uh, not really. My dad moved to Monaco with his girlfriend last year. And my mom passed away when I was 11. Do you live here alone? Well, I lived with my grandfather, but he died in June. So for the past three months, it's been me. Oh my gosh. Don't you get scared all alone in this big house? Haha. <laughs> it's not spooky to me because I've lived here all my life. What's over there? My grandfather's library. Wow, this book is called Adrian, Alex, and Fiona. No way. I know every book on that shelf. Oh my gosh, so weird. What's in it? Three friends united by fate and destiny on this day, September 2nd. Seriously, it's September 2nd today. Three friends, three lives, three destinies, three spirits. On this day, they will collide. On this day, they will see the light. You guys, this is freaky. Is this some kind of prank? Haha, uh -huh, this is a prank, right guys? And so together, they will read the words. Guys, there's like a poem here. Read it with me. I don't know about this. Are you guys messing with me? Seriously? I've never seen that book before. Will you guys stop being babies? Fiona, read this. Okay, we are going to end this part here on a plot twist moment. And basically, 1 to 10, how much do you like this app? Um, 100. A hundred? Because, um, you, because, um, we have this thing called the Summer Reading Club, and, um, and you could get your reading in by this. True. It does help your reading skills a lot, but, I don't know, it matters what story you're playing. But this story, it seems like it's trailing a lot, but also that might just be, like, in a movie, how they have, um, the beginning, and then the plot carries on after the beginning so this is probably just the beginning and we need to get past this part to be able to get to the fun stuff i like the story a lot yeah i'm liking the story a lot too they are like bringing in a lot of different things and like you get to create your character in the book and it's like it's yeah. like it's like um a fun activity but you can also get a lot of points <laughs> for her reading log yeah. she's talking about but um, 1 to 10, I'd give it a 9, because it's not my favorite app, but it's still a really, really good app. And yeah. also, you get to make your own stories. Sometimes, Tay Tay and I are going to play a story that I am going to make, and we're going to do that on the channel also. And like this video, subscribe, and also let us know in the comments if you liked this app, if you have played it before, and see you next time. Bye, guys!